I am now broadcasting. <laughs> I got it popped up. All right. So you guys are seeing a screen that says start game options copyright? Yep. All right, I'm starting it. I'll kind of play like I haven't played it before and like do every instead of like, you know, running all the way through it if that makes sense. Well, I haven't seen that before. Your your plant will be smooth like you haven't played it before. No, I really like I didn't notice that last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got You're doing you're doing a good job. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that I guess just basically gives you instructions on how to like ex like things that happen later on but I didn't have that last time I played it so I just like so happened to find all the stuff you know it makes me want to pay attention to see if there's any other shit that I didn't notice last time if you could hear it well there's definitely a lot of creepy noises and shit that have I, like I was pretty on edge when I was playing it when it first came out just cause all the Yeah, well, you'll hear, like, yeah, and then you'll hear, like, movement far away, and, like, the surround sound from, like, me playing it is very accurate, so, like, going down this hall, I don't know if it happens yet or if it happens later, but you'll be walking in, you'll hear, like, a door over here open and close, and you'll hear footsteps, but you can't see anything over there, like, just weird stuff like that. Fat rat. Bones. Yeah, like that right there was just a noise. Help me, brother. Well, I guess I have to leave the room and come back in, because that woman is supposed to have a fucking... Well, you'll see. Let me move around and then... That said, help me, brother. How do I get it? This should be in that room.
All the like uh, bright red bricks in the wall makes me think it's a thing. <laughs> I hate that like the door will try to act like you're interacting with it when you walk by it, so you get you, you know because the door will jar like even if you can't open it. It's weird how when you do play a game, though, and it's designed for you to only play it one time or whatever, and there's certain things that get activated by you just, like, playing, like, on your own, and then when you're, try you're trying to recreate it when you play it the second time. Yeah. I don't even know how it happened the first time because I remember walking in here and there's nothing in this room right here uh, except for the help me brother thing. And uh, this lady right here, you can't see anything in her back right now, but like I remember walking in here and all of a sudden she was like laying face down and there was bolt cutters sticking out of her back. Maybe I have to interact with this. Yep, yep, that's the thing. I don't have the thing for it. There we go. I heard something move. Oh, tell her I said hi. Yeah, so I... Yeah, you have to go interact with a, 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 a keyhole thing. In a way, his body right here looks like leather or something. Like he's wearing some weird leather thing. But I think he's like ripped open in his... In, yeah, I think he's ripped open and his insides are just charred. Yeah. And I don't think that there's any other reason to be in this room other than to look at that. And it'll start to get kind of creepy here too because you'll hear more movements and stuff. And yeah. Jump down and say some gay shit. Body falls on the ground. Ugh, gay. Yep. There was a weird hissing. This room's kind of cool looking. Yeah, I'm sure for you guys it doesn't look as good, but like the graphics, do, like it looks kind of, you know, like you're playing Resident Evil 7 in a different setting and everything, but every, the fidelity is so much better. And the sound is really good too. But the sound's not good for you, and it's not even really that great for me just because, like, I, I have to, you know share audio with you and the game but footsteps and this right here is weird it's a cask with a person in it and they're breathing and stuff mean a barrel it's a cask it i mean it is a barrel but it's supposed to have wine in it <laughs> I 
They did have a showcase recently, too, where they show some gameplay and introduce more characters and stuff. If you wanted to check that out at some point. Apparently, the merchant is just a big old huge fucking fat dude that comes out of this, like, closet in different places. But it looks like there's going to be, like, a big selection of guns and upgrades and all kinds of stuff as opposed to how it was last time. Have you ever heard of Dance Macabre? Oh, oh, when you interact with the record player, it says Dance Macabre. June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see that the masters of the house were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was peculiar. Mm, foreshadowing. Hmm. Oh, maybe. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle and I'm a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And at night I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. June 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just to crack. Shut it now! Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, no, I, I don't, no. Does this look familiar to you, Wes? Or Grayson? Uh, I think it's off the of first name of War. It's what, it, it's, I think that's what it reminds me of. I don't know. It's not the same setting, but... Specifically, it reminds me of the part where you have to go and uh, there's that portrait of a banquet and you have to shoot the wine bottle and it splatters and then it flips and then it opens doors and I don't know if you remember that part or not. I the part where Leon and Abog interact at. Yeah, I, I can see that too. Oh, let me look at that necklace because is there anything I could do with it? I guess there's nothing you can do with it. I just realized that it doesn't do anything. Or I didn't at least I didn't utilize it the last time around. Ooh, that makes me realize something. The person you're playing as is probably that like witch lady that is in the trailers cuz that this necklace looks like something that she would wear if you remember who I'm talking about Is this the weird part? It might be be quiet for a second and see if it oh no just laughter it'll happen again <laughs> it's definitely if it scared me when it happened but I they're like the clothes I am wearing candidates Irina Michaela Lois rejects Dandora, Greta, Nadine, 
Camelia, Bianca, Melina, Astrid, Ludmilla, Rosalinda, Lena, Stefana, Gabriella. They like a lot of Ellas, don't they? Well, it's an e they? it's an Eastern Europe, so that's why the names were that way. Some like Astrid. <laughs> Astrid is like a Norwegian, not Norwegian, but like a Nordic kind of name, but Ludmilla is a Russian name. I don't know. Cold. Some people thought that one of the women that are in the house is, uh, I don't think it's true anymore, especially after playing this demo, but they were thinking that it was, uh, I can't remember her name now, the girl, you know, the weird bug girl, uh, but it was, she was an adult now because of, uh, you know, she still has to grow up, so, like, they thought that the woman of the house would be Alex Wesker. Wireless controller battery low. Wireless controller battery low. Yeah. Oh, fuck. We missed that. Is she still going? You could see her going up. The, hold on. I, I'll probably miss it now. You're supposed to be able to see her, and then you could run over here. Oh, fuck. We missed it. So it's one of the witches, and you could see her walking up the steps, and I was like, oh, I'm scared, but I'm going to run after her. So I, I run all the way up the steps, and then she walks this way, and she walks about right here to this bust, and then she goes, hmm, and then turns into a bunch of bugs. The winemaking techniques of Castle Dimitrescu can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Elisina Dimitrescu uses the legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it with a thick banquet. Her best vintage is Sangui Virginis, meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. See all the foreshadowing that's occurring? Yeah, it is kind of on the nose, isn't it? Okay, so you'll want to listen right here, so I'll be quiet for a minute. <clears throat> So we finally meet. 
<laughs> Thanks for playing.